welcome back to Northeast Nostalgic. I'm back today with another Beamish video with a first look at the aged miners' houses which were recently opened in the 1950s town. If you like Beamish videos, please consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps me to create more Northeast history content. To get to the aged miners' houses, we go past Lees and Thorn Colliery Welfare Hall and the mini golf course and take a left around the Bowling Green. The 1950s town is really starting to take shape and look like a proper piece of post-war paradise, with more construction still ongoing. Minor houses are replicas of cottages from Marsden Road in South Shields. Two of the cottages are open to the public to show what life was like for retired miners during the 1950s. Whilst the rest will provide a place for activities for people living with dementia and long-term health conditions, as well as to help with mental health, loneliness and isolation. Did you know that aged mine workers houses were some of the earliest forms of social housing? The first aged mine workers homes on Marsden Road were opened in 1914, providing a place for elderly members of the mining community and their families to have a well earned rest. A lot of my family were miners, so I was so interested to see these cottages. On the side of this end cottage is a rule plaque stipulating the rules that the tenant must abide to to live in these cottages. Tenants must be of sober respectable habits, cultivate their front garden and must not keep lodgers. Also, if a tenant dies and leaves a widow who is under 55, she'll be required to leave the house with reasonable notice. I visited on a weekday and it was surprisingly really busy, but I suppose this is a new exhibit, so apology for not getting super clean nice videos. The first cottage was so homely, with doilies, dark wood furniture and intricate patterned carpet floors. Leaflets from the new National Health Service and the widow's pension were scattered on the table. An empty canary cage stood to the side, not really needed now that the miner wasn't going down the mine. Trinkets on the sideboard reflected the few precious valuables that the mining community had, proudly displayed within their front room. I love a good larder packed with all the old food brands, so I had to take a peek. mining cottage through the back, you're greeted with the beautiful view of the sheep within the fields. It must have felt like a dream for the miners who had spent their lives underground. The second cottage was a little less busy so I can show you about a bit more. Firstly with this absolutely tiny bathroom, with the smallest bath I think I've ever seen. I love a 1950s kitchen. This must have felt so modern and posh to those being able to retire here. Although I do wonder how long miners actually had here, as they'd have been in pretty poor health from all the environment underground. How amazing. 
magnificent is this carpet? This entire living room and bedroom really reminded me of my nana and granda in their house. Even down to the choice of furniture and the pigeon pictures. Now, I bet a lot of you remember bedrooms like this. From the satin eider down to the black and white wedding photograph on the chest of drawers. And that tiled electric fireplace. It's so well done and it looks exactly like something my grandparents would have in their little terrace. Even those curling tongs on the top of the fireplace. Hopefully I can come back soon and take some vi more videos as I am completely aware that these videos aren't, uh, aren't the best. So please subscribe if you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me at Northeast Nostalgic. And I'll see you soon!